Hi, this is Betty. Uh, I'm going to give you a little bit more instruction. I did an instructional video on this particular painting. This is when I really started doing a little bit more detail type work. Um, landscaping, uh, paint, water paintings and stuff like that. Just really kind of branching out more. Uh, but this was a favorite of mine. It's already been sold. Um, I'm going to try to get a portion of it put online on my website, southernladyartist.com, so people can buy copies or get canvas prints, all that kind of thing done. On this particular painting, um, I will show you how I first started out painting it. Uh, but now as I've, time has passed, I have realized with the painting that the main thing important thing first is especially if you're using acrylic like I am the main thing that you need to do is get total coverage on it first all the way to the outside of that canvas uh, more people now are doing the wraparound canvas paintings and don't want to put a uh, any kind of a frame or anything on it because a lot of times you get in a place to where you may have gotten a frame at one store and you might not find anything that'll match it, but it needs to go in that room. So a lot of people are just going that, and that just seems to be the most popular thing going on right now. So I'm going to find a place here where I'll show you what I did and what now I would have done. So we pick up with the way I started at that particular time. If I was to start to paint this painting now, I would have taken the blue that's in the top up here and I would have painted the entire canvas all the way around the edges, all the way across the front. Um, I would have done my strokes across all the way, you know, all the way across here because you're going to put your other things down on top of it. Um, and I would have used all blue. Now the brown it was good at the time because I had browns and things like that in the water. And then this other, whether you see the yellow looking part, that was head grass and stuff like that. But it really is better to determine what color up here in the sky or what major color is going to be that you're going to put something on top of. Go ahead and paint that whole thing that one solid color. Uh, it just seems to work better for me. So here I started adding the trees, uh, some of the background area. Some of the foreground with the water, just kind of experimenting um, and laying out some of this uh, background that was on a photograph. And this actually came from a photograph. It was Shinny Lake in West Monroe, Louisiana that uh, I took a picture of. The photograph is really beautiful in itself. I really ought to have a canvas print done of it, but that'll come one day. Now here we go with some extra trees coming into play. Um, like I said, everything from the background, you have to start pulling it forward onto your painting. Uh, so take your time. Don't get, you know, excited about it. Uh, after you finish on your painting, let it dry. Don't try to do something this difficult in a day or two. Um, let it dry real good because I have another technique of how if I'm working and I mess up of getting that off of the uh, canvas. These colors are going to vary because I was taking pictures with uh, a phone, cell phone, so some of it's going to be a little different. Um, I believe this one has a little bit more than the other one did. Maybe not. It may be just me experimenting now. When I went back to telling you just a few minutes ago um, about the taking the paint off, uh, let it dry, like I said, really good uh, a day or something. Because something like this, you need to take at least several days out, maybe a week or more to actually do this painting. Because you've got so much detail work in here. But you will take a hard, stiff brush and uh, relatively... Not not small, but I mean, um, it's not going to be like a really big brush, kind of a medium brush with the hard bristles on it. Uh, I have like a little round 
around the bottom of it. It's just round and it goes straight up. And have your towel next to you. And if you mess up, you can take it and dip the water down in, you know, the brush down into the water and be real careful and dab it a little bit and you can come right off of there. So if you make a mistake, it's not like you've destroyed your painting. You can get it off, but get it off right then because acrylic does dry fast. There is some kind of product that you can use to slow the process down. I have not used that yet. If I want to slow the process down, I'll go back to oils. Uh, right now, I like to just do what I'm doing. I'm more comfortable with it. Now we're adding more trees over to the right now. We're putting our branches on. Still again, you've got to make sure that you get everything that you want to do in the background done before you move forward any. Here is some more done, just a little difference. Sometimes you go in there and you'll change the color in the water. You'll change the color in the trees. Uh, you're just going to do as your eyes see fit to put down, you know. You're going to look at a photograph and you're going to come over here and try to get that painting done as close to that photograph. Now, sometimes you may not want to take but a portion of that photograph and you have it in your mind what you would like to be on there besides what's in that photograph. So I've done that, especially here recently. I've taken portions of uh, pictures, that I, photographs that I see and go, okay, this is dark, this is sunrise, or this is a sunset, and this camera is not giving me what on this photograph, what's actually out here. So sometimes you'll get that. And you can go back or you'll use somebody else's photograph that's giving you permission to do so. Because I'll always ask that. And you'll go, okay, well, I think this might need a cotton field. Or this might need something else. And I'll go ahead and put it in there. And it's just really neat because then it kind of becomes your creation. Now see what we're doing. We're bringing some color into the water more. We're starting to reflect our trees into the water so here's where we're adding more we're coming closer to the front edge of the painting as you're working with water scenes you're constantly working with these reflections you're constantly looking at the photograph you're going okay we need a little bit more blue here we need a little bit more white here sometimes you you're going to have to get the water and the paint kind of to a certain texture or whatever to where you can blend in with the other colors that's behind you because those colors have already dried so you just kind of don't get scared you know you can always like put it on there like I said take it off like I told you and just keep working okay here we come closer to the bank we've got our grass um, we've got some more of the other colors in there this actually was a little bit lighter than the original painting was. But uh, we're starting to move on to the to the edge of the waters and start putting in the other things that are going to be there later. Okay, so now we're working closer to the bank. Here's some of the grass around the bank. Here's some of the uh, mossy colors that's coming into the water. Uh, it's beginning to actually look like the photograph um and the colors are working out pretty good like i said this was lighter looking um it was hard to get my pho photography work just right acrylic is hard to get a good copy of it when you try to make a picture because there's so much light coming in it starts reflecting out so don't be upset if you take a picture of your painting and it takes 10 or 15 or more pictures to get exactly what you're looking at. Here again, we're working the grassier area here. Um, and like I said, I'm sorry that the photograph, I mean the picture here, is dark where you're not seeing what you need to on the right. But um, the other pictures here in a minute will give you a better uh, view of what you need to see. Okay, this should be the end or pretty close to it. But the frame before you don't see all this other 
to the left on here. Well, trust me, it took me two weeks to even think I was going to go and put that tree on the left side, put all that stuff over top of what I had just painted. I was mortified. So I sat there, and I'd come in there, and I'd sit down. Okay, I'm going to do it today. I know I ain't, I'm going to mess it up. I know I'm going to mess it up. I, I know I can't do it. So finally I realized, well, it's dried long enough. If you mess up, just take your, that stiff brush, put it in the water, take it off right then, right then. Get it cleaned off, clean it really good. So this actually dream catchers that you see was what was in the photograph. It was so neat how nature has so many beautiful things in it. Um, I was just amazed, and the girl that actually bought this was, uh, not full-blooded Choctaw, but pretty close to it, so it really meant a lot to her. She saw that I had the painting, uh, sent her a picture on, over the phone. I want it, I want it, I want it, so, um, now I'm working on a Smoky Mountain. She loves to go to the Smoky Mountain, and, mountains all the time, and... I've got one that I'm going to try to gear towards these blues because in the photograph that I found, there was a lot of this type of blue in it with the Smoky Mountains. And the person that had taken the picture, a family member, had captured that so pretty. So I'm hoping she'll be able to get it because and find a place in her home because I really think it will go... Uh, with the things that she's doing there and also be a reminder of the Smoky Mountains and the trips that they make up there all the time. So I would like for y'all to be in, this is kind of off the wall, but be in prayer for me. Tomorrow I have um, something that I have to go in and have done, some tests done. And um, I want to be able to continue to do what I'm doing right now. So y'all pray for me and I'll be back seeing y'all again and one thing will be going from the beginning uh, with more detail of everything I do take a picture so that it'll be more uh, of an instructional video for someone that's never even attempted and have a little bit more description of how to take care of doing your own kind of paintings thank you